Jacket time, yeah. Which may be the same thing as advisory. All right, real quickly, uh, flip to the back of this page. It is blank. Okay, there's a couple of things that I want us to do. Okay, I want us to notice parallel lines. Parallel lines. What's so special about their slopes? They, they never intersect, but what's so special about their slopes, the actual slope, the number? They're the same, the exact same slope. Y'all, that is so easy to spot. We know that, okay? So when you're looking at y equals mx plus b, you're looking for numbers that have those, that point right there, that place right there, are the same, okay? Perpendicular lines. Two things, and I know it's been a little bit since we talked about it. It was last week, but two things. One thing is that the, the slopes are flipped. What else? One must be positive, one must be negative. Very good. Okay, so don't forget that. If you cannot tell based on your graph, you always have these two things right here. Same slope. They must be parallel. Or if their slopes are flipped and one's positive and one's negative, they must be perpendicular. Okay? Must be. One other thing that I want you to put. Horizontal lines. Horizontal lines will be, they will not have this equation right here. Right? Horizontal lines will just be y equals and then a number. Some number. Vertical lines will be x equals and then some number. Okay, so I, I want you to have this on the back of this page so that here in a second when you guys are doing this on your own, if for some reason you get stumped or you forget or you're lost or you're confused, this is really all you need to know. This is our little cheat sheet, okay? When the lines look like this, parallel ones have the same slope or perpendicular ones flipped and positive negative. When they look like this, one's horizontal, one's vertical. Okay, so this is our cheat sheet. This is on the back of our notes. Okay, so let's go back to the front side and let's, let's get to graphing. So this first example here, are these horizontal or vertical lines? No, right? These are in the form y equals mx plus b. So this is, this is like what we were doing last week and the week before and the week before. Okay, when you're graphing a line that looks like this, we start with our y-intercept, remember? So looking at this line, what's my y-intercept? Negative 3. So we start at on the y-axis at negative 3. And you put a point. And then our slope, which is what? 1 half. It tells us to rise 1 and to run 2. Because remember, it's rise over run. So from here, I'm going to rise 1 and run 2. And you can do it again if, it, if that makes it look better, if that makes it easier for you. Rise 1, run 2. You don't have to. And then connect them. And there you have this beautiful line. Now, before I even graph the second one, are these lines going to be parallel? Do they have the same slope? The same slope? This one's got a slope of one half. This one's got a slope of negative two. These are not going to be parallel. So kind of pay attention to that sort of stuff. You should know before you even graph it if they're parallel. These are not parallel. We think that they're probably going to be perpendicular. Okay, so let's graph the second one. What's my y-intercept? Four. We start at four. What's the slope of this second line here? And we are going to turn it into a fraction by putting it over 1. So we are going to rise negative 2 and run 1. How do I rise negative 2? You go down to 1, 2. Remember when you count, you don't start counting until you actually move. 1, 2. And then I run 1. Always run to the right. There you go. And then connect them. Boom. We've got our second line. Now, if you can't tell based on the graph if these are perpendicular or not, we know we're looking for a right angle. And I, well, let's say I can't tell if that's a right angle. Go back to your slopes. What we wrote on the back page is that they are flipped. Are these two flipped? One over two, two over one. Yeah, they're flipped. Is one positive and one negative? 
yes. So that's all I need to know. Even if I can't tell, which I can tell, this is a right angle. But if I can't tell, then just look at your slopes. Yes, these are perpendicular. Okay, looking at example two. Right off the bat, what do you notice about these slopes? On example two, I've got a slope of what right here? Uh, negative three, and I've got a slope of negative three. These slopes are the same. What does that mean these lines are going to be? Parallel. parallel. I'm already going to write that down. Because if I graph it wrong, I still know that these are supposed to be parallel. Hopefully you won't graph it wrong, though. All right, when I'm graphing, I'm starting with my y-intercept. This one has a y-intercept of four. So starting at four. It has a slope of negative 3 over 1, meaning go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Alright, there's that one. Okay, for my second line, what's the y-intercept? Negative 1, very good, negative 1. And the slope again is down three over one. One, two, three. And there you go. Now we knew that they were going to be parallel, but do these look parallel? <laughs> Mine don't look great, but that's because I missed this point I went above it and I missed that one. So they don't look great, but they, they were supposed to be parallel. Now for example three. Huh, something is different here. This is not y equals mx plus b, is it? There's no x here, right? Anytime you see that, if it's y and some number, nice, I saw somebody flip to the back. Y and then some number, I know this is going to be a horizontal line. So this is a horizontal line, and this is also a horizontal line, right? Both of these are going to be horizontal lines. I'm going to just make that note. When you're graphing horizontal lines, you go to your y-axis. Put a point at negative 3. So y-axis, negative 3, draw a horizontal line. Boom, that's the first one. Second one, go to my y-axis. Put a point at 4. Draw a horizontal line. And voila. What kind of lines are these? They're both horizontal, so they are what? These are parallel lines, yeah. Whoops. Remember, we did talk about this yesterday. Anytime you have two horizontal lines, they are always going to be parallel. Okay, and then example four. This one's a little bit different. This is a what kind of line? Vertical. vertical. If it starts with x equals, it is vertical. But this one is horizontal. So they hope fully will be look perpendicular. So this time I'm going to go to my x-axis to 2. Here's my x-axis and I'm going to 2 right there and I'm going vertical which means up and down. Boom there's the first one. Okay for the second one I'm going to my y-axis to negative 6. That'd be all the way down here and I'm drawing a horizontal line. Now, it's kind of hard to tell here about these lines because they just barely cross, but what if I extend this down? That kind of helps me visualize it a little bit more. <clears throat> Does this look like a right angle here? It most definitely is. And remember, we talked about this yesterday. If one of them's vertical and one of them's horizontal, they're always going to be perpendicular. So these are perpendicular. Okay? Again, on this assignment that you guys are fixing to do, take your time graphing them correctly. If you can't tell from your graph, look at your stinking slopes. I've got, I had so many kids first period put parallel, but when I looked at the equation, they didn't have the same slope. Don't give me that. They've got to have the same slope. Okay? Pay, just, just pay attention to this. That's all I'm asking. <clears throat> 